Radioactive Skittles presents The Stonettes, a glowing production. Created and voiced by MST Price. How's business since we last spoke? Pretty good. Though, we have noticed a small decrease in our street sales. Which is odd, since doing drugs is like the number one pastime around here. Our online sales, however, are going strong. Most of our orders are fulfilled via our curbside pickup services, which has grown increasingly popular through these times. How do we fulfill a curbside pickup? Like any retailer would. A customer placed an order from our online party supply store, Dare to Party. Our website is password protected, so only people we vetted are allowed access. When they go to checkout, they will be given the option to enter their address or pick up curbside. If they choose curbside, we'll send them the party drop location and set up a time and date. Upon arrival for pickup, they will send us a message to let us know they arrived with a quick description of their car's make and color, along with their confirmation code so we know what order we will be fulfilling. To be double sure we're delivering to the correct vehicle, at the end of checkout, the customer is given a password, for example, glow stick, which we'll ask for before we hand over the goods. Where does our curbside services take place? Well, Mark's parking lot. Where else? It's kind of our way of saying fuck you to an inverted totalitarian feeding establishment. Though we don't support Mart. Mart unwittingly serves our needs one burnout at a time. Mart, the home of sketchy people and shady deals. We like to conduct business all the way at the end of the parking lot, which is an ideal place to score. What makes it ideal? Because security's lax. There's not a lot of eyes around, so no one wants to hike it all the way to the store's entrance leave your car's vulnerable for break-ins. Might as well leave your keys in the car with a note that says, Take me. That's why one of us always has to stick to the minivan. Pop. Sit. Stay. Watch the minivan. Good boy. Do you think Pup will get bored all alone in there? He's a big boy. He can handle himself. I left him a treat on a console. It should take him a while to get through it. You remember to leave the windows partially down so he doesn't stink up the van, right? Of course. I'm so glad we got him. I know, me too. Totally. Look! Guys! The mountain's out! Remember when we first moved here? It was so cloudy that the first two months we had no idea that Mount Rainier even existed? I know! It like really popped out of nowhere. How pretty! It makes for a lovely afternoon. Yeah. Okay, time to work, ladies. I'll handle the first and second orders. Morphine, you get the third. We ordered only an ounce of Kratom, so see if you can expand your wallets. You know it. Alice, how about you deliver the fourth order? I'll see. Stop staring your in that car. You look like you're attempting to carjack. The little sticker is right. The mountain does appear closer in the side mirror. Alice, if you can spend that much time staring into a mirror, you could at least fix your hair a little. Maybe we should all flip our hair a little. You know, to really sell that party girl look. Good thinking. Am I good? Yeah. Me? <laughs> Alice! Ow. Are, Are you, you alright? Okay? What happened? Why the fuck would you flip your hair so close to a car? Damn, Alice. You can't afford another concussion. You just recovered from the last one. A few months ago, she got a concussion while we were pulling a recycling bin to the curb. Ugh. The recycling won't fit all the vodka bottles. <sighs> Alice, we're gonna need you to climb into the recycling bin. Morphe now will hold it steady while you jump up and down and try to compress the takeout boxes and beer cans. Why me? Uh. Because last week I jumped in the garbage bin, got garbage juice in my shoes. Why can't Morphe do it? Because next time's my turn to jump in the garbage. Besides, I just finished a doobie, and I shouldn't be operating while inhibited. Guess that's logical. Oh, hey, look! It's that dude you guys like, the one who bikes in his short shorts. He's crossing the overhead bridge. I think he might be taking the bike path down through the cul-de-sac. Where? I don't see him. Oh, wait, I see him. Thank God he doesn't know he's supposed to be wearing leggings under those shorts. Shh! Here he comes down the bike path. Act cool. Hey! hey. Wait! You let go of those! I blame the bi weekly recycling pickup. Otherwise, we wouldn't have to jump into the bin and get all of our recyclables to fit. Ow! My head! Were your pupils dilated this much before? My what? Ow! Wow. You really put a dent in that car's hood. You have a hard head. Nobody saw. It's not that big of a dent. Let's just walk away. Hera, I think Alice should probably sit this one out. I think you're right, Mora. Alice, I feel like you should go hang with Pup in the Mini for a bit. No, no. This is no more disconfusing than when I'm on one of my free trips. What's a free trip? 
It's when you're not an acid, but you get to relive the experience in what we call in the drug world, a free trip. Don't worry, you guys. I can handle a headache. It doesn't even hurt that much anymore. Well, I guess there's not any blood. She's not slurring. I think she could walk it off. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Just go. Okay, catch you in a bit. Alistair, it's fine if you maybe want to take a walk around, you know, maybe scout out some new customers. Morphine and I could handle deliveries. I'm good, Hera. You just tell me who I'm delivering to. Okay, Alistair, you're going to be looking for a gray Subaru with a blue, green, gray Seahawk sticker. Peep back to me what you're looking for so I know that you're not concussed. A gray Subaru. With a... Blue, green sports sticker. Perfect. Now go. Why are you still standing there? I'm waiting for you to tell me which order I'll be fulfilling. I already told you the fourth one. As per usual, you will find the baggie with the corresponding order number, number four, in your hip bag. If you forget what order it is again, just pull it up on your phone. Oh, and don't forget to ask them for the password. The password? Oh, okay, yeah, I, I remember. I'm looking for a gray subaru. Gray subaru. Gray subaru. 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 I live in a yellow subaru. A yellow subaru. Subaru, Subaru, Subaru. A yellow Subaru with a green, blue, black sounder sticker. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Here's the goodies. Enjoy. Goodies? Lit. Oh, thanks for remembering the password. Have a good one. Oh, and don't forget. Dare to partay! I sure will. <laughs> oh, hey, heroin. Hey, Alistair. That was quick. I'm surprised you found the vehicle so easily. That was a common make and color. So, you remembered to ask for the password? Didn't have to. She told me lit. Good. Oh, hey, morphine. Guys, you'll never believe. Wait, Alistair, run that by me again? Run what? The password. Lit? Oh, no. Uh, that's not the password. Remember, you suggested it, and we said no, because lit was too easy to guess. That conversation doesn't sound familiar at all. Okay. Remember yesterday when Hera suggested we should get old school styled garlic knots to go with our pizza, and then you said lit, and then you said lit would make a great password, and then I said, Us, you at least made sure you give it to the right person? Yeah, to the girl with the green, blue, black sounder sticker in the yellow subaru. I even made up a song to remember. Yellow Subaru, Yellow Subaru, Yellow Subaru, Subaru, Subaru. Alice, you got everything wrong. It was a freaking gray Subaru with a blue, green, gray Seahawk sticker, not a green, blue, black sounder sticker. I'm not hearing a difference. She wasn't completely wrong, heroin. It was a Subaru, and in her defense, we're not into basketball. Football! It's a football team! No need to get all politically correct, heroin. Take me to her, Alice. Wait. LSD. Is that the yellow Subaru that's taken off? Um... <sighs> Not only are we losing sales, but now we're giving shit away for free? I'm sorry, Hera. I thought I could handle it. Look on the bright side. We might have made a new customer. How? I told her dare to partay. No. How could you have let this happen, LSD? You said you were fine. I feel like LSD already explained that part. Do I have to take care of everything myself? Useless. Idiots, I swear to God! If I'm such a useless idiot, then I guess I'll just keep my new useless information, which is indeed useful to myself. You go ahead and do that, Morphine. I'm sorry, heroin. You two, do what you want. I'm gonna go out there and actually sell drugs, not just give them away. Oh man, she's really pissed. Come on, LSD, forget her. She can cover the next couple transactions. I know it will cheer you up. I heard this good smart fight about to go down in the South parking lot. Was a smart fight? Are you kidding me? Smart fights are awesome, man. You got bar fights, you got street fights, and then you got smart fights. They're better than pay per view. What qualifies a fight as a smart fight? Listen, if you're left feeling slightly embarrassed, totally disgusted with humanity, yet thoroughly entertained after watching a beatdown of smart parking lot, then you just witness a smart fight. People fight over the stupidest possible things imaginable. And pretty much anything goes. This one time we saw this 30-something mama four totally stripped down to her waist with a baby attached to her boob, getting instead from some pervy man-child a spot over. Little did he know, she's a good multitasker. 
The second she saw him, she whipped out a big bag of Halloween candy from her cart with her free hand and started clobbering the pervy man child with the bag until it cracked open like a pinata. I even caught a Kit Kat down my bra. Hands down, it was the sweetest fight I'd ever seen. Have we ever been in a mark fight? <laughs> no, no, no. We don't partake in mark fights. To put it this way, we'd hate to be those girls who got pinched for getting stabby at a fucking mark. We just love to watch them. Guys, where the fuck were you? I called you both. I thought it would be obvious that we were by the van. You moved it. Sorry, heroin. We turned off our phones because the show's about to start. We're not in a fucking movie theater. We're in a fucking sketchy parking lot, which you just made me hike across. Next time, keep your phones on. Calm down, Hera. It's mid-afternoon. We don't have to worry about the real weirdos coming out until late afternoon. Says you. Some creeper just asked me if I could help him load a mini fridge into his fucking camper. A mini fridge. Dude, I'm not seeing what's so creepy about that. Yeah, some mini fridges can be pretty heavy. He didn't seem to have a problem carrying the fridge when he approached me and asked if I could help him load it into the back of his camper by going in first so he could hand it to me. Okay, yeah, that is creepy. Glad you didn't do that. So am I. Sorry, Hera. I would have texted you our location, but I thought all my information was useless. <clears throat> hey, wait. Why are you back so early anyway? I thought you had business to attend. Last two orders were canceled, and one of them was a no-show. So I expect they'll cancel later. Huh. I wonder why that's happening. Shh. The fight's starting. <coughs> Cat fight, bitchin'. What did I miss? Well, they started yelling at each other from the cross away for a while now, but they've been slowly closing the distance. You're close enough to throw down now. My money's on Madame Bathro. She has a cart. What about Eco Girl? She can use her recyclable grocery bag to beat down Madame Bathrobe. Yeah, but Madame Bathrobe has a cart, and she can use it as a battery ram. Plus, her cart's full, so she has more weapons to choose from. Right? So what's the fight about? Do we care? No. Oh, oh. Looks like Eco Girl's going for something in her bag. See? She also has weapons to choose from. Ooh, looks like Madame Bathrobe is arming herself, too. Let's grab a container of those nasty-ass sugar cookies. Oh, no. She's putting it aside for later. Uh-oh. Eco Girl is slipping out a carton of farm fresh eggs from her bag. She's opening the carton. <gasps> Madame Bathrobe sure is taking her sweet time to organize her cart. <gasps> what is that? Like the six box of cheap wine she's put aside? Oh my <gasps> god. Madame Bathrobe, can you be more anticlimactic? <gasps> Yay! My person's winning. Good thing we didn't put money down on this. I don't know who started this fight, but at this point, Madame Bathrobe deserves to get pelted by eggs. I'm embarrassed for you, <gasps> Madam. Aw, oh, <gasps> how lame. Eco Girl can't aim with shit. <laughs> Never mind, I take that back. Check it! Madame Bathrobe has moved out of firing range and she's opening a box of- Oh! She has a box of granola bars! <laughs> the only things she could stand to lose! Ha! Look at Madame Bathrobe! She can throw! Yes! Eco Girl is moving in! Oh, damn! She actually egged her! Eco Girl egged her! Did you guys see that? Madame Bathrobe took an egg to the boob! That's gotta hurt! Shit, Eco Girl's out of eggs. And Madame Bathrobe's looking pissed. Madame's thrown down the box of granola. Eco Girl's reaching back into her bag. Cart's back at play. Eco Girl better watch out. Eco Girl's pulling out an eggplant? What kind of a weapon is that? Madame Bathrobe's making a run at her. Madame's gonna ram her with the cart. Do you think Eco Girl's gonna be able to get out of the. Madame Bathrobe overshot? No! <laughs> oh! 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 Did you see that? Eco Girl just clubbed her in the face with the eggplant. She's beating her down. Beat her! Beat her ass! Damn. We should have brought some popcorn. We got ourselves a good one. Way ahead of you. I sent Pup out on a snack run. Anyway, he should be back any minute with the goods. Looking pretty useful now, huh, Hera? Wait, wait, wait. You thought Pup was our dog? What kind of an asshole leaves your dog in a car in a sketchy parking lot? <laughs> oh. I guess I could see how you made that mistake. No. Pups are groupy and trainy. Since he hasn't exactly been house trained in a matter of speaking, he was Dick Duck's little friend, and then he started following us around, always eager to serve. That's why us top bitches decided on a consensus to give him a shot at learning the ins and outs of the drug biz. So for now, he's like our unpaid intern, which basically means he's our little bitch, which is why we call him Pup. Wait, you sent Pup on a snack run into <laughs> Mart? Chill out, Hera. I told Pup we'll pay him when he gets back. That way, we're lining his pockets and not the fat man's. Oh, hey! There's Pup! Hey, Pup. You got the goods? 
Sure do. I got your three boxes of mop balls. Did three he just pull my mop balls out from down his pants? Pop, pop, Glad I didn't ask him for a choodle. No worries, Whatever Aaron. happened to using a grocery bag? I remembered that speech you gave me about not supporting evil corpse, and I felt you, so I took a five-finger discount. Not what I was getting at, but thanks. And for future reference, I don't ever want to hear I felt you and five-finger discount directed at me again. Get me? Heard that. So, what are they fighting about? Does it matter? True that. So... You want to know where the unattended cart is, huh? Rolled somewhere down that way. Sweet! Free groceries! Do you need anything else, ladies? Think you could discount me some tampons? Um... Okay? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. You could go. Cool! I'm gonna go grab me some free groceries and finish off the doobie y'all left me. See ya! Ah, my malt balls are all melted. Gross. His body temp must have warmed them. Stop complaining. They were free. Well, at least they were still in the box. Don't make me gag, Alice. <coughs> oh, yes! The friend has been taken to the ground. <coughs> Madam Bad Bros on top of Eco Lady, and she's beating her with her own eco friendly bag. <laughs> Not so friendly now. People are starting to step in. I'm calling it. Took long enough. Time to go, ladies. What luck? What fucking luck? Someone canceled on us again. First yesterday afternoon, now this evening. What the hell is happening? Yeah, but yesterday came before today, so I think that should be expected. Gee, Alistair, what a concept. Oh, look! A fish just jumped out of the water. Fascinating. Maybe we're the victims of budget cuts. But where did all the junkies go? Cha, talk about mixed up priorities. Look, there's another one. We are walking around the pier. There is always fish. And pay attention! We need to get to the bottom of this. I don't know. Maybe collected bad karma somehow. How? Morphine could have refrained from taking that one guy's glasses after she kicked the crap out of him. I didn't know they were prescription at the time. All I knew was, they were cool, and they still are now that I popped the lenses out. Plus, you grabbed my ass. You'll think twice next time. Oh yeah. Maybe LSD was the time we took the bus, and you sat next to that guy, wouldn't stop talking, and had really rank breath. You offered him a mint, but you offered it from the wrong tin, which you found out later when we were watching the news, remember? And it turns out he got all whacked out on ecstasy and got arrested for walking up to random people in the park and touching them. Okay, that could be why, but that was a total accident. The universe is very understanding, Morphine. I should know. She talks to me all the time on my free trips. But then again, it turned out he was already a registered sex offender, so it was only a matter of time before he struck again. True. What about when Hera... Finish the sentence, Alistair. I can't. There's too many to pick from. Nice. Okay, but why are we paying anything? We basically work on the side of karma. Nobody got served anything they didn't already deserve. You got a point there. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Hey, look! It's the Bellevue Girls! Good eye, Alice. Bellevue Girls? Oh! You mean to say the Bellevue Girls? You have to say the vu part like you're saying a fancy word, and you must tilt your head up like you're disgusted by everything and everyone because you have money. It's safe to say we hate them, but we love their money, so they're redeemable. The Bellevue girls are a group of six to eight interchangeable superficial bitches who walk around like they have giant pine trees shoved up their asses. Every once in a while, they feel the need to come down from the city of Bellevue to grace us with their presence and snot up the place. And they always talk like this. I swear to God, they all sound like the same person. And talking with them is exhausting. Though, we only talk to the two main bitches, Cherie and Carrie, while the rest of them hang in the back like a pack of squeaking mice with sinus issues. But you know, those snobby bitches are always loaded and looking to score. So we like to keep friendly. Let's head over. Hopefully they're ready to partay. Hey, Bellevue girls. Huh? I mean, Bellevue girls. Like, oh my god, it's the Puget Sound Girls. Like, it's so good to see you. Too bad we didn't run in earlier. We could have hanged. But like, now we have to go because we're in a hurry. So sad. We'll catch up next time. Okay, bye. What about your party fix? Actually, we're already fixed up. But maybe next time. Okay, bye. Fixed up? By who? Huh, this new guy offered us all a pretty girl discount. Even Kathy. 
Huh? No offense, girl. Pretty girl's discount. I get those all the time. Who did you say you bought from? We didn't. Do you remember what he looks like? Not really. Luxury. Yeah, girl. Carrie. Uh huh. I'm gonna need you to put your pretty heads together and think really hard. So I'm gonna need you six in the back to shut it. Thank you. But like, I don't remember. It's too hard. Thinking's giving me a headache. Was he cute? Oh God, no. Total bugo. He's toads got the ugly. So you do remember? Oh, funny. I guess so. Guy acted like he was taught shit, but he wasn't. So do you remember his name? It was something stupid. Like Big D. Big D. Right. Let's be honest. He's more like an A cup. Totally. Did you see the size of his hands? Right? Kathy's man hands are so much bigger. Bitches, you talking about me? Bitch, you're paranoid. Excuse her. Hold up. That little prick is walking free? I guess so. So, like, are we done here? Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Those cheap-ass whores. I know. What happened to customer loyalty? I can't believe they spread their fingers to take just anyone's joint. Wait a second, Morphine. You seem awfully quiet for someone who's gone ballistic in the past when finding out we lost a customer to the dispensary. Why is it this time when you found out we were losing customers to some loser selling second-rate crap over our dank weed? You're suddenly very indifferent. What gives? I already knew there was another player. Dig Dug gave me a ring yesterday while we were doing curbside and informed me. What? I asked you last night while you were brushing your teeth if you had any important updates and you answered me back with a mouthful of toothpaste. Mm -mm. And you're telling me you were lying? Why didn't you tell us? I would have told you, but I thought all my information is useless. You're letting us take a pay cut just so you could throw my words back at me? Yes, I did. And maybe next time, you'll watch who you call useless. Fine. I'm fucking sorry for calling you both useless. Happy now? Elated. You called me useless? I don't remember that. Maybe because you slammed your forehead into that car? Oh yeah. I would have let that comment go, but I appreciate it. While we're apologizing, I'm sorry I called you a bitch. Uh, you never called me a bitch, Alistair. Oh, maybe I said that to my inside voice. Well, I'm sorry for thinking it. Uh, apology not accepted. Now, why is he out morphing? Got off for good behavior. Fucking Carl! Next week on the Stone Ass Competition. Here's the thing about being a fellow drug dealer. What the fuck did I ever do to you bitches? He said each other to fail. It was a quiet, strategic takeover. Fire! Fire! What better way to take drugs out of the hands of children than by using them? We just need to lure a couple of tweeners over to us. Candy! Some of our tactics were pretty creative. That's it. I'm spiking my own drink. Do you think we made enough fake cocaine? Should be. It's about a nickel's worth of prison time. Please tell me no one called the cops. I already did! Uh oh. <laughs> Subscribe, use your favorite podcast app, or stream episodes at RadioactiveSkittles.com. Remember, dare to party. See you next Tuesday.